A 25-day-old male infant is brought to emergency with complaints of vomiting, seizures and poor feeding. Examination reveals a micropenis and undescended testis with bifid scrotum. A 25-day-old male infant is brought to emergency with complaints of vomiting, seizures and poor feeding. Examination reveals a micropenis and undescended testis with bifid scrotum. Investigations were ordered and revealed random blood glucose of 28, serum sodium is low, serum potassium is high, PUN and serum creatinine were within normal range. Ultrasound revealed cerebriform pattern in both the adrenal glands bilaterally. Cerebriform pattern pointing towards possibly congenital adrenal hypoplasia. There is history of one previous sibling developing similar problems and dying in infancy. What is the likely diagnosis? So it is a male child having hyponatremia, hyperkalemia, ambiguous genitalia and ultrasound showing features of CAH. What is the condition which will have males having ambiguous genitalia and there is salt losing crisis? Let us look at the options now. So, A, familial glucocorticoid deficiency, B, Wolman syndrome, C, anti-21 hydroxylase antibodies and D, deficiency of 3-beta hydroxyserate dehydrogenase. This is your correct answer. Please remember that Wolman syndrome, among other things, there will be, manage, there will be mention of adrenal or bilateral adrenal calcification will be a clue in these patients. And this type of presentation will not be seen in these patients. So, what are the key pointers which help you make the diagnosis? Male neonate with vomiting, poor feeding and seizures likely hypoglycemic. Ambiguous genitalia in male. Hyponatremia and hyperkalemia with relatively preserved renal function. Ultrasound showing bilateral renal, renal glands with cerebriform pattern and a positive family history. Now, moving to question number 4. 6 year old girl presents with precocious puberty, some bony lesions and hyperpigmented skin lesions as shown below. And what is the probable diagnosis? If you look at the image, this image is showing multiple large macular lesions. So, presence of cafe au lait macules, coffee colored macules, bony lesions, precocious puberty, it is all fitting into the classic description of McCune Albright syndrome. So, what are the points about McCune Albright syndrome that you should remember as a quick review? It is characterized by a classic triad of three things precocious puberty, cafe au lait spots, and polyostotic fibrous dysplasia. This triad has already been asked as MCQ in the past, right? What is the reason for McCune Albright? There is somatic activating mutations involving the stimulatory G protein. Associated endocrine abnormalities in these patients are multifold. They include hyperthyroidism, they include rickets, and they include acromegaly produced by growth hormone excess. And finally, precocious puberty is the associated endocrine abnormality. It is a part of the triad as well.